Hi, my name is Yasmin Amri. I'm a senior concentrating in electrical engineering, and this is my submission to the three minute thesis competition. And I'll start my timer now. AI models have grown to be incredibly accurate and powerful. From navigation to object detection to personalized recommendations, they've completely revolutionized the ways we interact with technology in our surroundings. Yet, underneath the hood, these models are extremely computationally intensive. They involve billions of operations and require a lot of memory and energy to run. And so typically, data is sent back and forth between our phones, our laptops, and then hyperscale data centers that run these power hungry algorithms. And so the consequence is that this back and forth communication, along with the billions of operations involved, make these models very costly in terms of energy and memory, but it also introduces a new host of problems namely risks of data leakage, added latency from sending data back and forth, but also the fact that you have to be constantly connected to the internet, which limits the accessibility and applicability of these models. This is a crucial challenge in digital hardware design. And this is where the field of tiny machine learning comes in. How can we run complex models on resource constrained devices that have little memory and short battery lives? How do we design chips that process vast amounts of data in real time without accessing any data centers. This is especially important for sensory impairment solutions where you have to make split second decisions. And that is the focus of my thesis. In my thesis, I looked at designing assistive hardware for the visually impaired. In particular, I applied techniques from computer architecture and digital chip design to enable fast, smart, and energy efficient assistive tools for the visually impaired that perform real-time, on-device, image-to-speech conversion. So first, I assess the scalability and computational intensity of various image classification models, which are paramount to assisting the visually impaired. I then trained and profiled my chosen model to assess how it runs on standard general-purpose processing systems and see where the bottlenecks lie in terms of speed and energy consumption. Based on that, I designed an accelerator for image classification. This is a digital circuit, similar to a processor, except it's specialized for image processing operations. The resulting system is 264 times faster and 233 times more energy efficient than the baseline system. And so my thesis shows that when you combine these smart algorithms with the right hardware design, you unlock a new world of possibilities, more sustainable, more portable solutions that can truly change people's lives. And the magic is that by shrinking machine learning, its potential only expands. Thank you. And that's two minutes 53.